Hello, everybody. I just want to uh, show you today a uh, website and a tool called Adobe Spark. Um, you can go to spark.adobe.com. And um, let me show you what you can do with this. So once you get in here, I'm not, I'm already kind of logged in. You'll need to use your Adobe Creative Cloud uh, login to get into this. And I do know that they have a few different features that are kind of activated depending on what kind of account you have. So for the student accounts, there might be a couple premium kind of things that you don't have access to. But uh, for the most part, you should be able to do a lot of things in here. Um, so to kind of get started, um, we've got the big obvious plus here that we can click on to get going. So there's a few different things you can do on here. You can you can actually create um, social graphics, slideshows, videos, flyers, covers, like different kind of graphic um, things. This, this is mainly for, um, I mean, I guess graphic designers could use it, but a lot of times, you know, they'll design their own stuff. But this can be a quick way to get a graphic out, to put on social media, um, do other fun stuff. The videos are, it's a nice little video tool that allows you to combine different videos. It can be really cool. Um, what I'm going to show, show, show you mainly today is more of a journal type thing. Um, so these are different templates that you can use. Um, let's go ahead and start from scratch. And like I said, so you can do graphic, web page, or video. Uh, we're going to do web page. Now what this does is it gives you a nice kind of journal type of page. It's a good for doing kind of like a blog kind of posting or an article or something that you might send to someone. And they make it very convenient to kind of put things together and, and make different pages. Um, actually, let's see, let me go back. Before I get into this, let me just show you a couple things that I've created already, just so you kind of know a little bit what we're talking about here. Um, let's see. So I've done a few different things, just like some little graphics and um, some different things. Um, let's look at a page. Let's see if I can go into that. So I do some different Adobe classes, um, education courses before. So I've they usually have you do um, a Spark page that kind of has your experience and things you've done. So I've added some graphics in here. It allows you to add in paragraphs of some text. Um, we've got some graphics, again, of some things. You can add hyperlinks to projects. You can have headers to kind of break things up. Um, so it's a good way to kind of put together a little page. Um, you can save it and share it and kick that URL off to anybody you want to send it to. So let's go. Let's go back to the main here and start a new one then. So we'll hit the plus. We'll start from scratch. We'll do a web page. I'll just, I think you'll find this pretty easy to work with. Um, not too many pitfalls. So they give you, um, you know, your title, subtitle, that kind of thing. You don't have to use this stuff necessarily either. Um, so you have these little pluses. This allows you to add photo, text, buttons. Um, buttons can be nice because it can give you a little bit more of a visual kind of thing that you can click on. Um, you can put in a photo grid. So if you have multiple photos, um, they have this one called a glide show, which is, um, you know, a type of slideshow, basically. Um, you can pop in videos, um, different text. Um, let's see what else can we do here. Also on this title page here, um, you can actually put in a photo. So they make this pretty easy. So you can upload your own photo and put anything you want back there. Um, so maybe you have a project or a picture of your face or whatever. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, but they also have some other options. You can access stuff through your Creative Cloud files, Dropbox, Google Photos, Google Drive, Lightroom if you use that, Adobe Stock, which is a paid service. Now, if you do um, find free photos, Basically, what it does is it looks through the web for Creative Commons license, so you can use these. Um, it might add some um, 
you know, like it'll say who, where the image came from and it'll kind of do that automatically for you. So this is a good way. Um, so it's pulling stuff from Pixabay and it has some other sources as well, Unsplash. Um, so you can pick something out of here and right away you've got a nice visual in here to get going on. And like I said, that little info comes up and gives you information about who started that there. Um, so we can add text. And this basically kind of comes in, let's see, text. You get a few HTML controls. You don't have a whole ton of stuff, but maybe we want some kind of header. Um, so you can select that and maybe you want to make it H1 or H2. Um, not a whole ton of like font options things. You can make it a quote. Um, now the look of the site, uh, you actually have some options there. So rather than just giving you all kinds of different fonts and things like that, um, what it does is it can give you a, uh, you know, a theme that will give you a certain kind of look. So maybe I want to go like Trekkie look with that. So you select that. And if you have stuff in here already, it basically um, just reformats everything into that theme. Um, so there's a few different options here, which is, is nice. So, so we have, let me make another text box. So let's say I've got my header for what I want to talk about. I've got some text and then, you know, we can, we can type out whatever it is we want to do. Now, one thing, um, if you hit enter, it actually creates like a separate text block and adds quite a bit of space in between your paragraphs. That's one thing I kind of don't love about this setup. Um, that and just you don't have a ton of control over like what you can do. Now, if you do want to add, let's say that this is going to go to a website, you can select that text and hit this little chain icon and you could have this jump over to a website. Um, like I said, you could pop in video. You can actually drop something right in from YouTube. So it needs to be something either on Spark Video or YouTube or Vimeo, and you have to have a link in there. Um, I don't think they let you upload it there. So, but, so it has to be hosted somewhere else, but I don't think that'll be a problem for, for most of you here. Um, but that's pretty much it on, on creating a page. It's, it's a, just a super easy way to, to have kind of a blog post or a, a journal posting where you can kind of lay out some information. Oh, I get here. Let me throw a photo in here too. So let's say that we just got something else. Um, you know, we've got a nice tree reflection. So you have different options here. So you can have it fill the screen um, in line with some other content. Um, you can, you know, replace that. If you change your mind, want something different, you can have it as a window. Um, so lots of different kind of options you can do with your photos and kind of add. So if you want to add some, some a lot of visuals in between whatever you're writing up, that can be really great. Um, let's see what else. Settings, um, header and footer. So you can take those on or off as you want. Um, you can kind of preview this. Let's take a look. This is what this will look like to the world. Now, one thing that's super nice about this is that you, um, this will work on any device. So it'll come up nicely on somebody's phone. Let me reload here, kind of lost it. Um, it'll come up on a phone, an iPad, um, whatever kind of device somebody has. So you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. It's gonna look good. Um, so the last thing to know is sharing. Um, let me go ahead and hit share. So you need to publish this actually. Um, I've never tried print. I don't know how that would turn out. That might be interesting. Um, but publish and share the link. You actually have to publish this before you can get this out to where people will say it, will be able to see it. So you want to give it some kind of title page. Um, they do force you, um, last I checked, um, to put it in a category of some kind. They just want you to categorize it for whatever reason. Um, let's see. You can turn the author part on. Now that adds in that photo credits if you have any of that in there. Now you can have it noticed by other people to make it findable on the Spark website. I don't really need that, turn that off. But you might want your stuff out there so people can see it. And then you hit create link. And then you have this nice little link here. You can copy that and 
you can post that in any discussion thread or send it to anyone. Now you also have got, you know, Facebook, Twitter. Now Classroom, I'm not sure, that's probably an Adobe thing, that's not our Canvas thing. Um, you can get an embed code to where you can embed this into a different page, you can email this out and that kind of stuff. So let me copy that. Now one thing to be leery of, if you change anything on your site, let's say you've done something new here. Um, if this still works the same way as it did the last time I used this, um, one thing to note is you actually have to republish. So as, as you notice, I went in to share this time. It says, we noticed you made some changes. So you have to update this. If, you, you're, if you've already sent somebody a link and um, you change some content on here, if you don't republish it here, then they'll see your old work. They will not see your new stuff unless you go in here and update link. Now I'm pretty sure, let's just double check. I'm pretty sure it's actually the same link. I'm gonna just put this in a different tab so we can compare it. Um, so I'm gonna update link. Let's see if it actually gives us that exact same link. I know they do republish it though. So um, let me look here. A N one R W M U A N one W M U D Q V. Yeah, it looks. I think it's the same exact thing here. Yeah, so same exact thing. Um, it's just republish that content, and now this will be up to date. Like so, if we copy this and um, post it back in our new tab here, let's see. It's got my new subtitle thing in there. So that's just one important thing. Sometimes students will update their page and kind of you know send me the old link and not republish that and I don't see what their stuff is. So make sure you publish that. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Like you might want to play around with this. Like I said, I think it's pretty straightforward. I think um, it'll be interesting. Like I said, you might try the video as well. That's pretty, pretty interesting if you need to put together like a little video. Um, yeah, so check it out. I hope you enjoy Adobe Spark and find good use of it.